Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. How are you all? I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, where we, on a regular basis we discuss the current financial happenings around us. And also, as the festive season is around the corner, I hope that you all are very motivated, very happy, and you're also very joyful to prepare for your exam as well. So let's get started without any delay and let's see the table of contents that we have for today. So today we are going to talk about two very important news article. The first is the collaboration between the India Post Payment Bank and the RBIH which is the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub in order to come up with certain innovations in financial products and services to cater to the needs of the large section of the Indian economy. And the second talks about a report by RBI on big techs. So how about this big tax posing a challenge to the financial sector? Iske baare mein thoda sa discuss karenge based on the report that RBI has released in its bulletin. So let's get started with the very first news, which is the collaboration that I have talked about. Sabse pehle full form dekh lo. IPBB, IPPB, that is India Post Payment Bank. It is one of the payments banks, which we discussed in the last session. Mein bhi discuss kiya tha. And the second, RBIH, Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. It is a wholly owned subsidiary of RBI that caters to the financial innovation specifically meant for the lower income section of our economy. Jinke paas Financial information or literacy is not enough. It caters to those and it provides a platform for the startups in order to come up with certain innovations so that products, innovative financial products and services could be made or a financial solution could be provided to such section of our country. Okay, collaboration ke baare mein pad lete hai thoda sa. So it is basically the collaboration which, which wants to enhance the reach of financial solutions in terms of financial products and services to the larger section of our society across India and in order to enable frictionless finance to a billion of Indians. So, it's not that only some people get the financial services. Mili. There should be frictionless without any kind of hassle. It should be available to all and everyone in our country so that our country can become a financially literate and a financially dependent country. Okay? So they have talked about one of the problem. What is the problem? It is the universal access to finance. So specifically those people who have zyada financial literacy nahi hai. and also those people who have lower income and people make who are very naive people try to take advantage of them and they also do not have much knowledge and they do not approach the formalized financial sector what do they do they go to the informal one to the intermediaries such as money lenders who exhort them like anything right so bahut zyada exorbitant rates of interest charge kiye jate hain in logon ko and financial and like finally they end up in financial distress so what is the problem the problem is to have a universal access to finance and it is one of the critical requirements. this is a must for a society to be called as an inclusive developed society so if we talk about inclusive development ki baat karte hai, it is not only the development or the economic growth it talks about inclusively talking and taking care of all the people into the economy so what are we going to see in this partnership? So through this partnership, both of them will plan, execute and design. So they will plan, design and then execute innovative financial products and services in order to provide a financial solution and to bridge the existing gap by bringing digitalized services at the customer's doorstep. The customer ke doorstep pe unko digital products or financial solution provide karne ki baat ki ja rahi hai by planning, designing and providing, executing such products and services. Theek hai? As you all know this, so the one question that should be in your mind ki IPPV hi kyun? So as you all know, the India Post Payment Bank, India Post 
कैटल्स तो रूरल सेक्टर बहुत लोग इनको अप्रोच करते हैं इसलिए कितने सारे इनोवेशन लाए गए हमारे इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक में इसके अलावा इंडिया पोस्ट में एक पेमेंट बैंक भी आ गई विच इज होली गवर्नमेंट ओन राइट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट इसको हैंडल करती है इट कम्स ऑन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट उसके अलावा यू ऑल मस्ट हर्ड अबाउट हैविंग अ बैंक अकाउंट और डिपॉजिटिंग मनी इन टू द इंडियन बैंक इन टू द इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक ऑल ऑफ दीज इनोवेशन आर ब्रॉड सो दैट वी कैन अप्रोच द रूरल सेक्टर द मार्जिनलाइज सेक्टर जिनको कोई नहीं पूछता राइट ऑल दोज पीपल दे आर ऑल्सो इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट एज यू एंड आई जैसे आप और हम इंपॉर्टेंट है दोज मार्जिनलाइज सेक्शन ऑफ आर कंट्री दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज द टास्क एंड द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ आर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ of the financial sector regulator everyone to bring them at par so that we can have an inclusive development of our society theek hai so this is just an initiative or a flagship program from their side so that they can collaborate make use of their uh, of their usp in order to come up with solutions for such people theek hai now let's move forward and talk about the collaboration so how is this collaboration going to impact the masses the large section of the society so first and foremost the india post payment bank since it has a deep rural reach right it is going to leverage its forte so its forte kya hai so they have a deep rural reach so it is going to use this in order to take rural finance to billions of indians the rural finance financing would be easily available to such people rural people second enabling access to sustainable and secure finance services to every segment of the society through research and innovation so rbih from the name itself it's very clear that it talks about innovations research so they are going to make use of the acumen that is the research and innovation in order to come up with certain sustainable secure finances for all people of the country theek hai apart from that the india post payment bank will also be an active participant not just a dormant one an active participant and a partner to rbih on initiatives of national importance to so, koi bhi national importance ke ko lekar so rbih as you all know it talks about financial inclusion so it मैटर इस ऑब्जेक्टिव में कोई भी इनिशिएटिव अगर आरबीआईएच लेगा देन इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक इज गोइंग टू बी एन एक्टिव पार्टनर एन अ पार्टिसिपेंट टू सच काइंड्स ऑफ इनिशिएटिव ठीक है नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट आरबीआईएच फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस इज द फुल फॉर्म रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब talk about the structure ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैन इट इज अ सेक्शन एट कंपनी दैट इज सच companies which are non for profit organization and who have a major objective in their mind so what is the objective of reserve bank is reserve bank innovation hub financial inclusion in order to provide a startup in order to provide a platform to the startups to come up with financial innovations uh, innovations in financial products and services in order to provide a financial solution so it is a section 8 company incorporated under the companies act with an initial contribution of 100 crores if we talk about its status then it is a wholly owned subsidiary of rbi to so rbi ki bahut sari subsidiaries hain unme se wholly owned subsidiary hai rbi h one of them is rbi h and it's trying to promote and facilitate an environment a platform in order to accelerate innovation into the financial sector so here it talks about the aim which i have already talked about access to financial services to the low income population in the country and it also provide a platform which i have talked about to all the financial ecosystem uh, stakeholders in crafting in in order to come up with certain innovation strategies right while addressing the most pressing issues to jo bhi most pressing issues chal rahe hain for example abhi rural population tak finances nahi pahunch pa rahe they still have to resort to the money lenders to uske liye solution lana is the work of rbih now let's move forward and talk about the second news that is a report by rbi on big techs 
Now what are this big techs? Big techs आप सबको पता होगा big technological firm, non-financial technological firm होते हैं right and they are known as big techs. So according to the bulletin that RBI had released, वहाँ पे एक पेपर था that talked about the challenges that big techs are posing onto the financial stability. So how are this big techs? imposing a challenge on financial stability of our country try to examine this and then it is talk about certain reasons or certain risk associated with big techs and what how what are the what are the activities that they are undertaking which are making them so big that they are causing a a, a threat or or they are imposing challenge to the financial stability and what way forward we can take in order to get rid of this so first and foremost let's talk about big tech so big tech includes companies like alibaba meta earlier it was facebook google tencent which is a chinese firm amazon so all of these are known as big tech companies apple bhi ho gaya so all of these right so they usually hold service license and they act as a third party kya hota hai so there is the buyer there are the sellers and they provide you with the platform They usually act as a third party. Amazon का केस ले लो थर्ड पार्टी की तरह एक्ट करती है राइट एंड दे हैव वेराइंग पार्टनरशिप ज्वाइंट वेंचर्स विथ द डोमेस्टिक कंट्री सो दैट दे गेट सर्टन जुरिस्डिक्शन रेगुलेटरी एडवांटेजेस अगर आपको पता होगा देन आर बी आई हैज ऑल्सो कम अप विद सर्टन रेगुलेशन फॉर सच काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज एंड ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट नॉट स्टोरिंग एनी ऑफ दी डेटा अगर कोई डेटा है which does not has a financial arm agar amazon data collect kar rahi hai regarding the your payment cards and everything that should be stored in india only this was in news data localization agar aapne padha hoga to data localization bhi bahut news mein tha that all the data that is related to india and to domestic transaction domestic transaction then all of these should be stayed in india only that should not be passed on otherwise because data privacy is a very critical issue and if your data is leaked then we don't know what major consequences we will have to face agar kisi transaction ka financial leg hai if it has an international leg then such transactions the details of such transactions only could be shared with that with the foreign partner theek hai so now let's talk about the very next thing that is the increasing role of big tech so how is their role increasing which is imposing a challenge to the financial stability first and foremost with the huge with the wider customer space that they have theek hai first and foremost they are talked about is the third party service provider so they become the underlying the their pervasiveness that is of having an underlying platform on which a host of services are provided तो इस वजह से इनकी इंक रोल बहुत ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो रही है सेलर्स रजिस्टर विद दिस विद दिस बिग बिग टेक्स कस्टमर्स रजिस्टर विद दिस बिग टेक्स एंड दे बिकम द थर्ड पार्टी दे बिकम द जायंट एंड दे टेक अप ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द कस्टमर्स दी सेलर्स अब ये इंफॉर्मेशन का क्या कर रहे हैं डेटा का क्या कर रहे हैं वी डू नॉट हैव एनी आइडिया इसीलिए आपको पता होगा इंडिया में अभी ओ भी लॉन्च किया गया है राइट right? ओ को लॉन्च करने के पीछे यही है सो दैट द सेलर्स एंड द बायर्स कुड बी ब्रॉड टुगेदर एट वन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज इंडिजिनस ठीक है इंडिजिनस बनाने की बात की जा रही है ओपन नेटवर्क डिजिटल कॉमर्स ठीक है उसके अलावा नाउ देयर यूनिक पोजीशन ऑफ इजीली एक्वायरिंग क्रॉस फंक्शनल डेटा बेस यस एक चीज से दूसरी चीज की डेटा सपोज यू आर परचेजिंग समथिंग आपका आपका नाम मिल गया आपका एज मिल गया देन सपोज कभी उन्होंने वहाँ पे पूछ लिया व्हाट इज योर बर्थडे और या हाउ मेनी फैमिली मेंबर्स यू हैव एमेजन में आपने देखा होगा सो क्रॉस फंक्शनल डेटा बेसिस आर ऑल कलेक्टेड बाय दिस बिग टेक्स एंड वी डू नॉट नो हाउ दिस डेटा आर गोइंग टू बी एक्सप्लोइटेड और हाउ आर दे गोइंग टू डू दिस बिकॉज इफ यू आर यूजिंग फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम देन यू मस्ट बी अवेयर कि जो भी आप चीज देखते हो आपको वैसा ही फिर फीड मिलने लगता है तो देर इज कस्टमाइजेशन ए आई मशीन लर्निंग का इतना ज्यादा यूज हो रहा है वॉट एवर यू सी सपोज आपने किसी पोस्ट को लाइक किया नाउ रिलेटेड टू सच सेगमेंट सच एरिया वैसे ही डेटा फिर आने लग जाती है ठीक है 
that perceived the pervasiveness of big techs provides them with a large client base which i have already talked about which have access to multiple facets of customers data not only your name or your gender or your date of birth apart from that your financial information the family member that you are having all of these data goes to this big techs theek hai uske ilawa they are so much financially related they have become a strong complementary you just not फॉर एग्जाम्पल फेसबुक पे बस आप स्क्रॉल नहीं करते अब ना यू कैन डायरेक्टली परचेज इंस्टाग्राम से आप डायरेक्टली परचेज कर सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल व्हाट्सएप व्हाट्सएप पे नाउ यू कैन मेक पेमेंट ऑल ऑफ दीज है कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री बिटवीन द फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज एंड द कोर नॉन फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज डिसाइड्स उनके पास टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसेस तो है ही द बिग टेक्स आर ऑल्सो हैव द फाइनेंशियल मसल सो इन केस इफ दे आर फेसिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर अगर कोई नया चीज आता है इफ देर इज अ न्यू फिनटेक कंपनी कमिंग अप then these big tech companies have so much money so much financial power with them that they can easily outweigh this small fintech or small indigenous company that wants to come up into the market so they can withstand the competitive pressure because of the huge financial muscle next is the risk associated with the big tech sector in the financial service ab dekho ye jo report hai that is just for your understanding isme se aapko kuch ratna nahi hai this is just to let you know how the big techs are going to impact the indian economy or or the financial sector sabse pehle unki large client base the number of information that they are taking out from us how are they using these information how and how 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 their financial might is making them more strong and more resistant to any kind of competition that they face from the small fintech companies jiske wajah se jo smaller firms hai, they are not able to survive theek hai now talking about the risk associated the first is the complex governance structure there is limit in the scope of for effective oversight and entity based regulation aap unko regulate nahi kar pate because they take advantage of the loophole and they go and establish themselves in such country or in partnership with such a country where they have regulatory advantages theek hai uske ilawa maine third party service provider ki baat ki hai aap se jisme they act as a mediator between the buyer and the seller there were all the informations come back to them second is barriers in creating level playing field that we have already talked about the smaller firms and the smaller companies and they are not able to stand up because of the barrier that is created by such enormous huge big tech companies theek hai and this is creating a barrier in order to promote innovation in the fintech space third is data privacy issues we have already talked about lack of transparency as to what are they doing with our data we do not have any information with this and this has raised serious privacy issues and concerns for country like india the next is the way forward what are the suggestions suggestions include for realigning the framework to facilitate a level playing field that means that the regulator should come up with such such regulation for these uh, big tech companies so that in even if they try to take use or make use of the loopholes into the market they are not uh, they are not they come under the regulatory purview of the regulator so in order to facilitate fairness in the fintech space regulators should realign the regulatory framework while managing the possible risk posed by the big techs to kya kya risk ho sakta hai kahan kahan wo loophole ka advantage le sakte hain un sab ko address karna pad identify karna padega aur address karna padega rbi ke dwara so that the new the startups in the fintech space could come come forward and provide more of innovation at a cheaper price to the people second is need to keep up the pace with innovation so the regulator for example here rbi need to keep up with what innovation this big techs are bringing in so that they are in they are aligned uh, and they are able to contain any kind of vulnerabilities that arises because of the new risk propagated by such big techs and third is mindful of the new linkages so this talks about the regulation in the emerging markets and developing economies so it says that the regulator should be very much mindful it should be mindful of the any kind of new interlinkages between the big tech that might create existing financial institution so any kind of interlinkages in linkages if it creates for example this mnc's are very huge they are not just in one company these are big 
होल्डिंग कंपनी और उनकी बहुत सारे सब्सिडरीज होती हैं एंड दे ट्राई टू टेक एडवांटेज फ्रॉम वन और दी अदर इन सर्टन केसेस उनकी शेल कंपनीज होती हैं वे बाय दे डू नॉट पे एनी टैक्स फॉर एग्जांपल आपने डिजिटल इक्वलाइज इक्वलाइजेशन टैक्स के बारे में सुना होगा राइट इक्वलाइजेशन टैक्स The government of India was trying to impose taxes on such big tax because they were not paying any tax in India. क्यों उनकी जो place of operation है, place of management है, that was not in India. It is an MNC. So ऐसे cases में जैसे government had come up with such equalisation taxes, the government and RBI should come up with other such innovations so that they are able to contain any kind of vulnerability because because of this big tech companies. I hope this is clear to you. This is all that I wanted to discuss. Simple, just to keep you, just to let you know कि ऐसे अगर कोई report आए, then you should just have a broad understanding. ठीक है? Now certain questions based on them as first, which of the following subsidiary of RBI? So all of these five, these are the subsidiaries of RBI, wholly owned subsidiaries of RBI. इन में से किसने partner किया है? Who of, who among these has been a partner? to India Post Payment Bank in order to enhance the reach of financial solution. You need to identify the correct answer. Moving forward to the next question which says, according to the recent report by RBI, which of the following uh, features of big techs make them a threat to the financial stability? Again, very simple. If you have report na bhi padha hoga, then you will be very uh, easily able to answer this question. Moving forward to the last question for today, that is which of the following is true about Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. ठीक है? तो ये कुछ statements हैं. First is see, it is a non-profit organization created under Section 9 of the Companies Act. Second, it is a wholly owned subsidiary of RBI. Third, RBI RBIH stands for Reserve Bank Integration Hub. And fourth, it focuses on promoting access to financial services. And products for the low income population of the country. You need to identify the correct statements. Simple question, yet important. Aise questions exam mein aane ke kaafi chances hain. Kyunki jitne bhi regulators hain, jitne bhi aise organizations hain, in pe questions aati hain, short notes aate hain in your RBI phase 2 exam. So you should be very thorough with such organizations. In ka naam, in ka aim, when was it established in case it, it comes in phase 1 and the main area in which, in where they are trying to hit. Okay, so their objective, their vision should be very clear to you. So this was all for today that I wanted to discuss with you. The answers are provided. I hope you like the session. In case of any doubt, any suggestions, you can write it down in the comment section. We will cater to all of them. Enjoy your festive season. But yes, study. Thoda sa padhai ke liye time nikalo. And take care. Have a very happy Diwali to all of you. And bye-bye.